Just like all of us inside of us, we have good stuff hiding inside. Every one of you is going to get one of these. Today we brought a mobile matzah bakery for the children to educate them about how matzah is made in the real matzah factories. Take your other finger and cut a hole up here very easily. Very easily, there you go. All the hair is off, excellent. The process of making matzah is actually very simple in one way, but more difficult if you think about it. Grab all the hair. Grab all that. Good talking about. Bo, 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 bo. Oh yeah, you did it. Thank you. The ingredients in matzah is just flour and water. There's nothing else put in to make extra taste. However, the process from when the flour meets the water can only take 18 minutes until it actually comes out of the oven. Pour the water in. Excellent. The flour is kept in one room, the water is kept in a separate room, and then they're put together in a large bowl. And the, the mixer man mixes the flour and water all together, makes it into a dough. Then everyone takes the dough, rolls it out into round matzah, because the machine-made matzah is square, but the shmura, the shmura handmade matzah is round. Then they take hole punchers and make little holes in the matzah. And the secret of those little holes is so that when the matzah goes into the oven, it shouldn't rise because if there were no holes, we would have pita for Passover. But we're not allowed to have pita on Passover. And we put it in the oven and it bakes in the oven for under a minute. And it's already completely baked because the oven, a brick oven, is very, very hot. It goes up to somewhat of 2,000 degrees to, to bake this matzah. Whoever had a good time to say, I love matzah. I love matzah. Whoever had a good time to say, I love matzah.